Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Here he is with the girl that he's been seeing. What? Going Security on, place. Huh? Your history. Because I asked you to be honest with me and you weren't honest with me. Tell me what's going on. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like you're just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh. I asked her about his, and she said nothing's going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get right. up, Whoa, whoa. This is, like, not how this is supposed Whatever, to work. Whatever, just go. Go with him. I love you. I'm so sorry. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Welcome, I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for watching this compelling episode of Cheaters. Allow me to introduce Tammy Basaldua, a woman married for eight years to a man of questionable habits. Tammy seeks Cheaters assistance in exposing her husband's affair. Tammy Basaldua, age 26, a bank teller and part-time student suspects her husband is using extra hours on the job as an excuse to cover up a second relationship. Oh, I called Cheaters because I couldn't afford to actually hire a PI. I knew something in my heart was telling me that something was going on, something wasn't right here. And I started noticing that he started getting more pages and I used my job calling me, you know, I gotta go back to work. And for a while he was doing that, you know, so I thought nothing of it. But when he started staying out until 1, 3 o'clock in the morning, and it was a different excuse every time, I stopped believing it. I, I knew right away that there was something going on or there was someone else. He doesn't want to talk about it. He, you know, he tells me, hey, I don't want to talk about it. I want to hear it, you know, and I need to leave. I, I, I don't feel like talking to you right now. I need to leave. And that's what he does. And I'm there every night crying. When I started noticing that he was going out, I mentioned it to him and he went berserk. Hit me, beat me. All I knew, I had marks everywhere. My family seen it, my coworkers seen it, but I didn't call the police because that's how much I loved him. And again, I apologized to him for getting in his face for it. But I can't accept it because I love him. Right now, I'm hurt because I don't know what's going on. He won't talk to me. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Suspect intent on remaining anonymous. A convenience store manager who causes his wife, Tammy, to believe he is committed to their four children and their eight-year marriage. Cheaters detectives are called in to determine the suspect's activities. Cheaters investigation begins with ease as the suspect leads Cheaters detectives right to the front door of an unidentified female. Investigators track the two, talking in the parking lot of the female's apartment complex. Day two of the investigation. Cheaters detectives locate the suspect's car in the parking lot of his companion's apartment complex. The female first offers the suspect a wave goodbye, then moves in closer for a goodnight kiss. The suspect apparently has no idea he's being watched and carries on. The investigation continues. Cheaters detectives continue to document the suspect. On one occasion, the suspect reports to work in uniform, but only stays long enough to call home with a lie about the late night altercations he claims he's handling after hours on the job. The suspect takes off for a little R&R &R at the lake with the female 
who is determined to be a former co-worker of the suspect. Stuff is happening around you. Shooting the Monday and it took last night. You're gone till two o'clock and I'm like, <sighs> just need to be careful. I am. I had a luck come home though. What time are you getting on the day? Uh I'm probably gonna probably gonna be a little late. Okay. I didn't sleep very well last night. I woke up and put in bed. My mouth wasn't feeling right. Here. What am I gonna do? I don't know, just hold me or hold your teeth. <laughs> hold me or something. Just comfort me, you know, just being there. Alright. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye bye. Cheaters detectives quickly wrap up the case and catch the suspect and his female companion red handed. The couple's movement in the darkness illustrates the suspect's culpability. After the break, the confrontation. With Tammy's intuition validated, Cheater's briefs are on her husband's hidden relationship. Faced with a difficult decision, Tammy ponders what action to take under the regrettable circumstances. You okay? Uh, yeah, are we gonna make sure it's a man before we do this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our investigators did their job. We have caught him with another woman. Um, I hate to lay it out to you that way, but the facts are the facts. When he told you that he would be going back to work, um, when in fact he wasn't, on several occasions, we simultaneously caught his lie that he told you, and we've documented it on video. I've got a little video I'm gonna show you of, of what we found, okay? Okay. You all right? Ready to see it? Yeah, I'm ready to see okay. it. Okay, here we go. Here he is with the, the girl that he's been seeing. This is them together. Do you recognize her at all? I know it's a, it's kind of a longer shot. Here we, he puts her in his, her car and then, then they kiss. Kisses her by in this particular shot. No, I don't know who that is. With this same woman, uh, he's been spending time at her apartment also. Uh, where she has residence with her mother. Each one of these times we documented with your phone conversations to him that he was supposed to be uh, at work. They are together. I've got to stop this now because it's, it's going down. They are together right now. Okay. Would you, uh, you know what this is about? Would you like yes. to confront it? Yes, I do. You ready to if go? If it's her, yes, I do. It is her. They're together at White Rock Lake. We have to make that run right okay. now. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm ready to get him. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go do it. Do it go here. Or? We'll do it right here. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get it going. Here we go, Rick. Danny, over here. That's all right. Right here. Take, take a right, right here. On the right hand side, right up on the right hand. Side. They're on the right hand side. Which car is? How many cars are down there? How do we know which one it is? Right I little. see his. Did yeah. See his car? Yes, yeah. I do. Do we want to pull next, right next to the car? Pull, pull right behind the car. Yeah. What's going on? What? Going Security, on? Security, please, huh? hurry. I told you. I told you. How could you? He's lying to me every single night. Okay. And you know too. Talking. I don't care if you're talking. Talking? But he's going to see another woman? But we just talk. You, do you see that we're doing something? Mark, like? you're dead. Would you like to explain it and talk about it? What's going on? Get these cameras out of my face. Why don't y'all, uh, you want to go over to our, our van? These are the people that's been following y'all. Would you like to go over to our van and okay. talk? Mm hmm Can you take that camera from me? Why, are you embarrassed? No, I am not, Tammy. I am not. So why are you meeting him? Why are you meeting him? I'm embarrassed about nothing. Then why do you want the cameras out of your face? Because you don't have a right to do that. Oh, and yes, I, I do. If, I don't, if you have something like that, did you see that we're doing something? Did you have a Yes, he's been going to your apartment. Yes, he does. That's right. 
So I do have every do right. Have right to hit him like Oh, yes, I do. Did you know that uh, they had children together? Yeah, she knows. She works with him. You know what? Everything you got, gone. Don't you I sure don't. don't. That's what you need right need there. That's what you need right there. So okay. what's it that you're kissing her? Kissing her? Yeah, at the apartments. Somebody got to touch her up? Yes, we, we have footage. What do you got to say about that? I ain't got nothing to say. I just thought, I think maybe you paid a little bit too much money for all this. Cause it don't Honey, anything. it didn't cost me any money. You don't need it. It didn't cost me a cent. You don't need because it why, why were you being dishonest with me? Huh? This is not dishonest. Uh, oh, telling me that you're out with your buddies? Tammy came to us just hurting and needed That's to... where that f key came from. She really needed to find out some answers you and just the truth. Because you're next. You got everything you want. Aren't you ashamed yeah. of yourself at all? You know, you, they're, you know they're together. They've been together eight years. They have children together. Wouldn't that make sense that not to not to break up a, 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 a family? She doesn't care. She's not, she's not a woman at all. Coming up next, the conclusion. together they've been together eight years they have children together wouldn't that make sense that not to not to break up a, 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 a family she doesn't care she's not she's not a woman at all you knew mark how do you want to handle it mark would you like to would you like to talk that to her? we had problems and you never once took the time to talk to me about it instead you're telling me that you were going out with your friends your buddies you were hanging out at the park with your buddies drinking how could you do that knowing that we needed to talk? And you're over here talking to her about y'all's problems? How could you do that? I have been there every single night while you've been out. And I really trusted you. I really thought that you were a different man, but you're not a different man. Do you want to go to the van? I don't need to go in the van. So you have nothing to say. I don't have anything to say. What would you like to do, Tammy? Do you want to talk to him in private? Does, does he, he want to talk to, if, in private? If he wants to talk to me, fine. He knows that I'm very hurt. Because I was there with those kids while you were out with her. I knew something was going on. All these times that she was paging you and you'd get up and leave? Can they please leave? She needs to get out. She don't need to go anywhere. Y'all need to just, just, your brother just need to leave. We're not doing anything. We're not bothering anybody. What are y'all talking about? What do you have to talk? Are you, t are you talking to her about our problems? We're not bothering anyone, okay? Are you talking to her about our problems? We're not bothering anybody. Is that what's going on here? And okay, Tammy, are you all right? Yeah. What would um, you like to do, hon? I want him gone. You don't want to discuss this any further with her, Mark? I have nothing to discuss with her with you in my presence. So you're going to stay here with her still? Do I get a copy of all this stuff? Yes, after yeah. it runs. Thank you. So. Just hope you have some money to get your attorney. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Shut that truck off over there, please. <laughs> After the confrontation, Tammy grieves over the welfare of her family. 
Later in the show, Cheaters reveals whether Tammy gives her marriage a second chance. But now, Cheater sits with Sean Roberts, previously caught being unfaithful to his expectant girlfriend, Rose. Sean reveals his regret for hurting the woman that he loves. Sean Roberts, age 27. Sean explains the reasons behind his unfaithful behavior. Well, when the uh, crew first came up on me, uh, I was a tad bit intoxicated, so I really had no idea what was really going on. Uh, I thought I'd committed some crime, which I guess apparently I kind of did. But yeah, other than that, I really had no idea. Sean. What are I'm you Joey doing? I'm Joey Greco with Cheater. Can you explain to Rose what you're doing with this young lady? Is this your girlfriend? Because I thought I was your girlfriend. When I saw Rose, I uh, kind of had an idea because I was sitting there with the, uh, another girl and it wasn't her, so kind of seen that I was already in a lot of trouble. This would never happen if you wouldn't have been sitting at home just whatever Being you're pregnant? Doing. Obviously not hanging out at Jeremy's. Obviously. Obviously what? Not, obviously not going to check on your mother. How do you know that? You're sitting here lying to me on national TV. <laughs> Throughout the conversation, I uh, had a mix of emotions. I was feeling uh, anxiety, I was feeling confusion, uh, deprecation, a loss of words, loss of thought. Uh, pretty much uh, guilt. Guilt was probably the, underneath it all, was probably the biggest one. It just kind of grabbed on and just, uh, squeezed, strangled my heart. No, I saw you. Kiss her, I saw your tongue in her mouth. There's gotta be something against the law, your privacy, it's, that's illegal. Okay, you know what? Call your attorney, have him contact us. All right? If I have to, I will. I've got a kid to take care of. I feel that uh, Rose was being dishonest for quite some time. Uh, There's a lot of times I'd come home and she would just completely flip out and get angry about the littlest things, if nothing, you know, just the fact that the air was blowing on her face too hard. Um, she uh, was real reclusive, real quiet, wouldn't talk about anything anymore. She wouldn't open up at all. And you know, I was, hey, you know, I'm about to have a kid with Rose. I need to just go ahead and take my responsibility and, you know, suck it up. My problem right now is with her. Your problem is with me. Yes, we have a kid. Where is this girl? Don't worry about her. Don't worry? How am I not supposed to worry about her? It's just nothing. You are nothing. We, we are nothing. The only reason it took off is because, well, everybody had left me there. <laughs> and uh, I was a little hot and heavy. I needed to release some steam, cool off, gather my thoughts, focus on what I was going to do. You know, just keep on going, I guess. Not let it get to me too much. I mean, yeah, you know, I screwed up. But I can't let that, you know, stop my stop me from living. Me and Rose are completely separated. Uh, no more, never again. It's not having a baby. Uh, me and Stephanie, I'm working on trying to get back with her, getting her good graces. Uh, it's incredibly hard. And to all those other guys or women out there that are thinking about cheating, uh, don't just figure it out before and go on with your lives. To this day, Tammy Basalgio's marriage has apparently survived. Although unhappy, Tammy believes maintaining a stable household is in the best interest of her children. While the suspect has purportedly discontinued his contact with his female companion, the female allegedly continues to harass Tammy and her family by paging the suspect and driving around their home. Tammy has filed numerous police reports against the female for her continual harassment, 